North Alabama football kicked off the 2018 football campaign with two practices. On Friday, we'll catch up with UNA head football coach Chris Willis in this Lion Vision update. Coach, these early days of practices, you're doing two separate practices, a morning group and afternoon group. What are you looking for from your team in these practices? Well, you know, um, it's just one of them things that the coaches brought to my attention. They would like to do it. And so I kind of, you know, I'm not a big fan of the split practices, uh, but it's not all bad. It's, it's kind of it separates us. We're not out here in such a big, large group. You can watch a lot of the new guys move around. The groups are smaller. You shorten the practice up so you don't wear them down. But, uh, you know, right now we're just looking to see, you know, if there's some early signs of guys that are picking it up that might can be able to help us. You know, the biggest thing right now is I'm looking at is effort and leadership. Guys that are going to give great effort and guys that are going to lead in a positive way. I know the coordinators, they're looking for who's going to pick up the scheme. And it's not going to look good day one, uh, not as good as you expect. And each day we should get better at that. Coach, the team reported on Thursday you guys had a couple of meetings with them. What was the message to the team in that first meeting? Well, you know, we keep saying the word around here, transition, and no doubt it is a transition. But uh, I'm to the point we're past that. It's more about let's get ready to compete. Uh, we got a few expectations we, as a team we might want to target. And, uh, this, you know, we're going into the season, you know, almost like we've been here. You know, this is, we've played uh, FCS-level teams before. This is not the first time. I know now we are an FCS team. And so, you know, rules and some format things change a little bit in recruiting and all. But... Um, it's got the same feel in a lot of ways. For our guys, we come out here no different and put the helmet on no different. We practice no different. Um, you know, so we're, we're just excited to, to move, to be the first ever. There's a lot of first, and here we go. We're the first team to, to, to dress out as a Division One, and that means a lot. And we're about to be the first team to win a ball game for the Division One for the school. And, you know, we'll look back 20 years from now, and this will have a lot of meaning behind it. Coach, let's talk about the offense for just one second. Ryan Applin takes over as offensive coordinator. These first couple of days, what are you looking for out of that group? Well, right now they're trying to set a, a, a tempo. You know, they're trying to kind of see how we're going to go up and down the field, who can handle that, who can get lined up. And um, so right now it's about – it's not really – I'm not into – yeah, we want to execute, but he's trying to see who's in shape to be that guy to – when we're going a, a very fast pace to see who can – who can be a part of that and who can't and who knows how to get lined up. When you're kind of tired, you got to think differently. And so he's trying to see who, who can handle that when you're, when you're hot and tired. Defensively, All-American Chris Johnson is back. Uh, freshman of the year, Christian Taylor is back. A lot of key guys on that side of the ball. Stedman Campbell moves over to defensive coordinator. What about that side of the ball? Are they sort of the same way? Yeah, I mean, same way. Uh, you, I know defense is always going to be a little bit ahead of offense. Offense, obviously, it takes a lot of things that you put in to execute, get people going the right way. Offensively, you know, one guy can mess up the whole play. Where defensively, sometimes, you know, you may have two go the wrong way, but you got a lot of other guys running to the football that can make things happen. So, you know, they flew around today. They look good defensively did. Uh, we just got to clean up some stuff. Uh, you know, we're in first day. It's helmets only. You know, everybody looks like an All-American when you're just in T-shirt and shorts. Joined now by UNA senior offensive lineman Cole Harden. Cole, day one in the books. How did it feel to get out there with your teammates today? It felt great. It's my last fall camp. Just wanted to get out here. It's great to get out here with the guys. It's a nice, nice warm first day. But it's good to get moving around. Cole, this summer most of the guys were here throughout the month of July working out. How valuable was that time uh, for this group, especially offensively as you guys reported today? I mean, overall as a team, it's awesome. Getting everybody together, getting in the weight room, conditioning especially. I mean, before we had to report first day was a conditioning test, but we got to finish all that in July. It was awesome. And for the offensive line, I mean, it was great just getting the whole group together. See, last year we had to just put a group together right at fall camp, but we kind of got to grow as a group, and it was really good. So let's talk about you, Cole. Uh, what are the goals you've set for yourself this season? I just want to have a great senior year. I'm just help my team how I can. And what did you work on during the off season? Just trying to become an all-around better player, trying to manage my weight better, get stronger. The offensive line will have a new look. Uh, Coach Lisco slides over. He'll take over that group. Day one, how did it feel with those guys out there? Oh, Coach Lisco is awesome. I mean, I had him in the spring. I mean, just how he's engaged with the guys. He's felt like that's been our head coach since day one. He's awesome. Day one in the books for UNA football. The Lions gearing up for September 1 kickoff against Southern Utah, the first year of Division I football. Be sure and visit RoarLions.com for more UNA football updates.